I'm at the Marco Pelusi Salon in West Hollywood, and I'm about to make a big change. So I was on vacation in Italy last year, about a year ago, and I woke up and I was on my way down to breakfast and getting ready, and I noticed my hair looks, started to look really thin. I was like, oh, that's weird. So, you know, I threw on a headband, I went down to breakfast, and when I got back to uh, the States, I went to my doctor, and he's like, well, let's do tests. So six doctors later, uh, and they tested me for everything, um, from lupus, they thought I had at one point, to one of my doctors was reaching and was like, you know, was it cancer, was it, was it whatever. So thankfully, after a stack of, um, you know, reports coming back. I'm very, very healthy. I just have a condition um, that's causing me to lose my hair. So I am losing my hair, as you can see, and I have what's called frontal fibrosing alopecia. Um, it affects women that are postmenopausal, which would be me. I'm 53 and I'm done with the pause. And um, I've just made the decision that I'm tired of wrestling with it and trying to figure out what to do with it, um, to just take it off. I, I, I may take it really short, I may take it all off today. We'll see how it goes, but I need to do this because I can't deal with this anymore. It's too much. <laughs> so when I made the decision to do it, and I've been thinking about this for months now, um, I did it on purpose in front of a group of people that I know well. And the reactions were, it was, it was a telling moment because the first person was like, yeah, you're gonna rock it, this is so cool, that'll be great. And the second person was like, yeah, okay. You're gonna wear a wig though, right? And my response was, well, if I feel like it, I will, but you know, if I don't, I won't. And then the last person, <laughs> who's one of my closest friends, was a gasp, an audible gasp of, <gasps> oh my God, that's your hair. No, it's your hair. And I looked at all three, and in that moment, I realized, first, that's probably the reaction I'm gonna get out in the world of, you know, why is her hair, where's her hair, what happened? But I also realized in that moment that I gotta do what I gotta do for myself, and that makes me feel the best, that makes me feel the most beautiful, and from someone I love dearly who's no longer with me, that I could be my most magnificent self. And that's what we want to do in life, is to feel our most magnificent self. So with that, I'm about to take it all off or see where it ends up. It might end up all the way off, I don't know, see how it looks. But um, I really am a true believer of, you know, you are where you're at and you move forward from there. And this is where I'm at and I'm just gonna move forward and live my life and be happy. So if you're going through this, you know someone going through this, there's so many options. I chose not to do all of the medications and the steroid shots because I have a healthy body aside from this condition. So why mess with something that's working? Because they all have side effects. And so that's my choice for not taking any drugs or doing any steroids. Um, so again, you are where you're at. I'm moving forward. And do what you feel in your heart if you're going through this. And it's all okay. It's all good. So with that, it's time. Mr. Royce. This is Royce Mitchell, my, my hairdresser for years, who has um, helped me through all of this. So you're the man. You're the man to do got this. It, like, I know you got, got me. It. So let's do it. Here we go.
So, wow. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is freeing and I'm happy. And if you're going through this, you have alopecia, you know somebody who has it, it you know, send me, send me a message. I'd love to talk to you about it because doing this is life changing. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy. <laughs> Yay. Look amazing. Thank you. <laughs>